Windows 11 is now out for insider preview and there's a lot of confusion about the requirements. Microsoft is making TPM a requirement and a lot of people are looking and seeing that their computers are not compatible. However, today I'm going to show you guys how to bypass that requirement. It's actually very simple. So what you're going to need is a USB drive, 8GB or higher recommended, and then you're going to need Rufus, the ISO, and a registry file. I'll put everything in the description. So let's go ahead and turn on the computer and start the process. All right, everyone. So we're going to go ahead and start off by opening up Rufus. So be sure to download it from the description. And then once you do, you're just going to open it up. And as you can see, there's no drive. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug in my drive real quick. So once I plug in the drive, as you can see, this is Windows 7. So it shows you that stuff still. And here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and select the ISO file. So let's see, where is it at? Here we go. So this is the Windows 11 ISO file. And right now, as you can see, it says UEFI GPT. And my computer is old. I do not even have UEFI. So I'm going to change this to MBR. And as you can see, now it lets you do BIOS or UEFI CSM. And everything else can be left default. So we're going to click Start. And we're going to click OK. It's going to erase all of your data. So be sure that you don't have anything important on your USB before you do this. So now, basically, I'm just going to wait for this to install. This USB I'm using is slow, so we'll come back once it's done. All right, so it's done. So I'm going to click Close. And we're going to go ahead and open up Notepad. So in Notepad, we're going to go ahead and type the following. You'll see this whole thing in the description, so you can just copy and paste it. But I'm just going to type it all out. And once you have everything typed out or pasted, you're going to click File, Save As. And we're going to change this. Uh, save to desktop. We're going to change this to all files and I'm just going to call mine bypass.reg which is a registry file. So click save. And now we're going to go ahead and access the USB that we just made. So here's the USB I just made. And we're going to go ahead and drag the bypass file to the root of the USB. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead now and eject my USB. And we're going to go ahead and restart the computer. And once the computer is restarted, I'm going to hold F12 on my computer to boot into the BIOS. It will vary on for your computer. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and plug in our USB on the sides of the computer that we just made. And we're going to start it up. And I'm going to go ahead and boot off of the USBs. So as you can see, this is a non-UEFI BIOS. And I'm going to choose USB storage. Press any key to boot, and there we go. That is the new Windows 11 logo. So we're going to go ahead and let this boot. Let's just go ahead and zoom in on this. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click Next, and click Install Now. All right, so here it's going to ask for the product key. We don't have one, so we're going to click I don't have a product key. So here, as you can see, it says your computer does not uh, meet the requirements for Windows 11. So here, we're going to go ahead and hold Shift and press F10. So Shift, F10, and it's going to bring up the command prompt. And we're just going to go ahead and type in notepad.exe. There we go. So from here, we're going to go ahead and click the file. I want to click Open. And down here, we're going to change the text documents to all files. I'm going to click this PC, click on the USB, and then you're going to do a single click, left click on bypass, and then you're going to right click it, and we're going to click merge. And it's going to ask you this. We're going to click yes, and that's it. So now we're going to close notepad, close command prompt, and then we're going to go ahead and press back. And one click, I don't have a product key again for the second time. And there you go. So now we're able to basically install uh, Windows 11. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these partitions. And we're going to go ahead and click Next. And there you go. We're now installing Windows 11 on a computer that doesn't even have a UEFI BIOS, let alone a TPM module. So I'm going to let this install, and once it's done, we'll come back and we'll take a look at Windows 11. All right, so it completed. I'm just going to click Restart now to let it restart. 
And I just want to show you real quick before we boot into Windows that this is a old computer. So as you can see, we're running a second generation ultra low voltage Sandy Bridge CPU and a NVIDIA GPU. This is a 540M NVIDIA GPU and it's an Alienware M11XR3. And if we go to the boot section, there is no options for UEFI. Under security, there is no option for TPM. So we're just going to go ahead and let it boot this time. And there is the Windows 11 boot screen, the new logo. Alright, so it's basically installing the drivers and stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and go through the setup, and then we'll show you guys the final desktop with the specs and everything to finish up the video. Alright, so this is the new Windows 11 setup screen, which looks nicer than the Windows 10 one, that's for sure. I'm just going to go ahead and see what they changed and how it looks, or what options they give us. So it looks like it's pretty much the same thing, just the new GUI. Alright, it looks like this screen is the same still. Please keep your PC on and plugged in. I don't even have mine plugged in since the whole setup. <laughs> okay, looks like we're on the desktop. So apparently this is the new desktop. And it looks like the icons are in the middle now. I'm not sure how I'm gonna like that, but I just wanted to show you guys quickly here. Oh, oh this is the new start menu. Okay, interesting. All right, so here's the icons and stuff. So I'm just gonna click this PC. I'm gonna click properties. And here we have it. So as you can see, second generation i7, and we're running Windows 11, installed on 7.3. All right, and finally, I just want to show you all that basically every single driver is almost working besides the Firewire and my NVIDIA's high definition audio for some reason. I haven't really looked into this, but Everything else is pretty much installed. So the Windows 7, 8, and 10 drivers that I used all worked perfectly fine here. As you can see, the requirement is pretty artificial at this point. If my computer from 2011 without a UEFI BIOS, without a TPM module, runs Windows 11 perfectly fine, then I don't know what to say. So if your computer can run Windows 10 right now, it'll run Windows 11, at least for now, the current build. Anyways, let me know in the comments if you have any issues. Subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.